Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, as you guys know, during the Memorial Day weekend, we have a lot of family come up from Louisiana, and we cook all kind of foods. Where well, they're up and gone home now, and we have tons of leftovers here. I mean, this is a bag of leftover uh, St. Louis style ribs, and this is a bag of pulled pork. Um, my brother Big G and I we cooked a whole bunch of stuff, and they ate well, but uh, everything didn't get eaten up. So what to do with all of this leftover meat. Well, I could freeze it, but um, I'm not going to eat all this meat by myself. Um, so what we're planning on doing is we're going to use these two pressure cookers on slow cooker mode, and we're going to make two different types of chilies to take into work tomorrow. My, uh, my troops been asking for chili, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a pulled pork chili, and we're going to make a St. Louis style rib chili. So hey, hang around and don't go nowhere. First, we took our time and removed all of the rib meat by hand from the bone. This was to ensure that we get, didn't get any small bones or any gristle in the chili. Alright guys, so we've uh, got all of our ingredients prepped. You guys saw me pull the meat off of all of the St. Louis style spare ribs. So this is what this is in this bowl here, okay? So that's what we're gonna cook. We're gonna cook St. Louis style uh, rib chili over here in the uh, Kasori uh, pressure cooker, but we're gonna be cooking using the slow cooker mode. And in here is our pulled pork. So we've got a bunch of pulled pork that we're gonna be putting that in our Instapot, same recipe and everything. So. Uh, we're not going to be adding a whole lot of seasoning because the meat is seasoned and I'm not sure how that seasoning is going to affect the flavor of the chili yet. So we're going to season it at the end, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw a little uh, olive oil in the bottom of each one of these to saute our onions. Alright, so we'll put a little olive oil down the bottom of each one of these. And as soon as that gets hot, we're going to toss our onions in here. If I can find my spoon, one sec. All right, I'm back. I had to run upstairs and get my spoon. So here we have one and a half onion. And we're going to saute in each one of these. That Instapot seems to have gotten much hotter than the Kasori right off the bat, so I guess it's going to be ahead of the game. So we're going to saute these, and we'll be right back with the next step. Alright, so the Kasori finally caught up to the Instapot, and the onions in both of them have softened. And so we turn the saute function off. For now, that's the, that's the only vegetable that we're going to saute in this recipe. Okay, so, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mix in our vegetables in each one of these. Now, each one of these, this is uh, each one of these containers have a one and a half jalapeno pepper, two red bell peppers, and two green bell peppers uh, diced up. We're going to put the same thing in each one of them. And I'm hoping everything fits, especially in the Instapot, because the Kasori is a eight quart cooker, and this is a six quart cooker. So we might be pressing the limits of the Instapot. So, okay, so let's mix our vegetables and onions all together. All right. Now the next thing we want to put in is we want to put in our beans. Okay, so. In, uh, we got two containers, one to go in each one of these. This is two cans of black beans, two cans of garbanzo beans, and two cans of kidney beans. Okay, so we're gonna pour that in there. We're almost full, almost. Hopefully, we have enough room for the meat. Wish I had two eight quarts. There we go. Got that in there. Let's mix that all up. 
Might not have room for the meat in this one here. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we'll put in our uh, tomato puree. We got uh, two cans of uh, tomato puree. It's gonna go in each one of these. Like so. All right. And we got two cans of uh, petite cut or diced tomatoes that's been drained. All of our beans and tomatoes have been drained. Oh, I'm wasting all the seasoning. All right. Ooh, man, might not get that meat in there. I hope so. All right, could be a whole lot in this, in this Instant Pot here, but we'll see. We're gonna be slow cooking it, so I might get it tomorrow morning. It might have stuff all over the counter, but we'll see. Okay. Mix that up real well. Try not to crush the beans. All right. Now, the only seasoning I'm gonna be putting in here is chili powder, okay? So we got two tablespoons of chili powder going to each one of these. All right, and I'll season it to taste after the fact, because like I said, I'm not sure how the meat is gonna season the, the chili, okay? All right, and last but not least, we got our meat. So we're gonna put as much meat in here as we can. Oh, one second, let me get a glove. All right, I got my glove. We're gonna put as much meat in here as we can. I'm sure some of this will cook down, so I'm not too much worried about it. Might be able to get it all in this eight quart one. All right, since we just use a slow cooker mode, okay? All right, let's see if we can mix this up a little bit. Get it incorporated. And I might have to come back later on and stir this before I go to bed, so. All right, we got that one done. Let's see if we can get some pulled pork into this one. Hope we can get, get enough to make a difference. Okay. We're getting there. I know you gotta be careful filling these things to the brim because they'll overflow, but I'm not using pressure. I'm just using the slow cooker mode, so we're going to take it to its capacity. Last but not least is our liquid. And what we're going to do is we're going to, sorry, I didn't even turn my back to the camera. What we're going to do is we're going to use a half a cup of beer in each one of these. Of course, you know I'm using Blue Moon. So, a little Blue Moon beer. There we have it. Okay, so all the ingredients are in our Instapot and in our Kasori. And we're going to put both of these on slow cook for eight hours uh, on low, okay? Um, I might put it on 10 hours, who knows? It just depends. I'll come back and check it before I go to bed, and we may increase the time, okay? But I'm really interested in seeing how this pulled pork chili and this St. Louis-style rib chili turns out. So, hey, don't go nowhere, hang around, and we will see what it tastes like in the morning. Don't go nowhere. Hey, good morning, guys. Okay, it's the next morning, and these have been cooking, uh, slow cooking for a little over eight hours now. We're gonna go ahead and open these bad boys up and see what they look like, okay? All right, let me stir these up a bit. And then I will give you a close-up look at them. All right, guys. So here's our pulled pork chili. Well, nice and thick. A lot of meat in it. Well, that should be really delicious there. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. And let's look at the other one. Here's our St. Louis-style rib chili. Meat's all broken down. So let's go ahead and have a quick taste test and see if it's going to require any seasoning. All right, I'm going to get a small spoonful of this rib chili here. 
chiuglia it might need a little bit of seasoning I might throw a little Cajun spice in a little black pepper but other than that this one tastes very good the, the rib meat seasons the chili very well This one got a lot of meat in it too. Just as I thought, the pulled pork didn't season the chili as much as the rib meat did. So we're gonna have to season this one up when we get to the job, so. But that's it. All right, thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, uh, like we always say, when there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Thought I was long since over and done with you. Was so certain I had left it all behind. But somehow it figures you stuck to my heart like glue.